All right, guys, I know you don't have a lot of time to sit here and listen to me babble on, so let's just, uh, we'll jump right in and show you. Uh, just some quick building tips on what to do, how to spruce up your shop facades, or just fake facades, whatever the case may be. I'll keep it really boxy, squared, simple for this one, and, uh, you know, hopefully it will help you kind of boost up, maybe decorate your little shops a little better. So what we'll do is we'll go into your facilities tab, because this is where a lot of you are probably going to be clicking on. Um, we'll go to guest facilities and we will just get us out. Let's just a, a plain chief beef. So you know you'll you'll post this and typically you will post your path around it. So we'll go ahead and I'll just do that for you. And then what I typically do is what I really like to start off with on these is go into your construction tab and I click on the wall section and I try to think what do I want to cover um, kind of like cover the framing up with so let's just say for the sake of this tutorial um, let's do an, an African theme um, so maybe what we'll do let's see maybe we'll go with uh, we'll go with some maybe block on the bottom so we'll scroll down to our stone brick just place that and then over here you know go to the the bigger piece and what I did right there is when you want to get that piece into place um, I shift I'm holding down the shift key right now so the only thing I'm doing is moving the mouse up and down and holding my finger on the shift key and now for a little bit more advanced like I know some of you ask me like how do you get a different angle on a building if you know see how like you're saying if you want it to go on a diagonal like from this corner to this corner you're like how do, how do you do that it's only letting me go straight up and down what you need to do is go up here to exit and exit out of that building so you can't do it the same so now what you can do is hold the Z key obviously right by shift and then look you can place it and that's how we get our little angles but we're not gonna do that for the sake of this tutorial because like I said we want to keep it kind of simple and boxy but that's how you do it see when you click back onto this building and you click edit right here the little pencil you lose the ability to do that you can only you know you're only gonna be able to go off that uh, that main access that main grid that this building's on so just click exit then you can put it you can put whatever kind of angle little weird angle you want on it and what I'm doing right here I'm holding down the Z key so holding the shift key to raise it up then hold the Z key once you let go of the shift key see it stays right there now I'm just holding the Z key and I can spin it do whatever I want if you want to go over to X you can move it like that as well so you know real real simple stuff shift Z and X so we don't probably don't want to leave these little things like that just kind of you know just blank like that so what I'll do is let's go to our African column here go into your settings because you see what it tried to do right there right now it is the the align to surface checkbox is, is checked so that's what it's gonna want to do see how it wants to align itself <clears throat> to the front of the shop you're gonna want to get it out here where it's straight up and down and uncheck that so now see it's just it's staying in the same position we 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 want it in. So we'll place one of those there. Place one right there. So that spruces that up just a little. Next thing we want to get a little cover. We want to get a little awning over the front of the shop. So we'll click on awnings. And um, this Africa, this little canopy right here is pretty neat. Same problem. We don't want to have to sit here and try to figure out, you know, with the X key how to get that lined up. Go back to your align to surface. Click it. Now, see, it's, it's lined up a lot quicker. Hit the X key. X key again. And now we can line up the, the little awning here. And you could do it like that. You can put it on an angle. Usually I'll put them on a little bit of an angle like that to not hide the decorative, the decorative African piece right there. All right, we got that piece going. Now, um, just, you know, you've got a ton of little options here for more detail. We can actually use this, align that up, hit the X key, bring it up, 
and maybe sit it back in there just a little bit to where your thatch is still showing, but and then we'll move it over. See, I've, I've not, I'm not holding anything right now. Once you hit that X key, it's in place. So now I'll click. That part's done. We need to come up with some kind of, especially if you're doing like a little main street, if this is like a, a maybe like a little main street facade, maybe you want to have that go a little taller the top piece, um, I, you can even go into your props. Don't remember, not all building pieces have to be totally from the building set. Um, this is one thing I'll do a lot. I'll take this African hut base right here and click it, spin it with the Z key, hit X, and then I raise it up. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'm moving that with the mouse right now. And maybe what we'll do is we'll click one right there, click one right there. And there we go. And let's see, what else do we need to do? We could, uh, maybe we could put some big columns up on each side of this. I like, um, I like these unpainted Asian columns. And like I've said before, yes, it's not African, but every, the people don't know that. So it, it doesn't matter. To them, it's just theming. And to us, it looks really cool. So see, we've taken the East Asian pillars, and we've got like a little bit more support on our, on our, uh, on our facade up here. Then what we could even do is we could take some of this East Asian timber. We'll click on our line to surface, get that flat on there. We could take it up even one more level here. Maybe set that a little bit behind these. And there we go. And now if we want to make that the exact same on each side, you can click on your little uh, multi-selection here. Select that, select that, and select that, holding the shift key. Remember, when you click on those, you've got to be holding the shift key or it only clicks one. So let me show you. If you just do the multi-selection, see how it, it leaves that one behind? Click, 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 and you're like, oh, man, I can't copy all that. Yes, you can. You just have to hold shift. <laughs> so see? Then over here, your little copy tool, duplicate, click it. And then you have an exact copy of what we just built. So we can bring that up and maybe place that just like that. Then we'll click this same way we'll do the other side. Duplicate. Spin it. it just, I just spun that with my Z key. Bring that up. And there we go. And what we can do, um, you know, that looks okay, but you might want to hide that. You might want to hide that a little bit. Um, so we'll just go into our construction. Um, you know, there's a ton of different things we could do. If you want to give a pop a color, you could do the decorative, um, the little accent pieces here. Hit your X key. Bring that over. Bring that up. We can just kind of hide those, those edges if that aggravates you. Click. Bring that over click. So now your little edge piece is totally hidden. And also, if you want to come back down with it, we can click on that piece right there, duplicate it still on the x-axis. So you have your regular duplication here, your x-axis here, click on that, and then your little three-axis little gimbal pops up, and just bring it down. Like if, we, if you want to cover your, um, your regular facade there, and just click it again, and do the same thing. Now that part's hidden. Um, now what we can also do, let's go in and we'll take a, we'll try to spruce it up a little bit, maybe with some windows. Let's just kind of look at some of our window treatments here. Maybe make it look like it has a little upstairs to it. We could even maybe even do like a little, um, like a little balcony section here real quick. Um, let's just, we can go into our, let's look for our, like our, yeah, our darker wood pieces here. Log wall, spin it, place that right there. Maybe get one just a hair smaller, place it there. Then what we'll do is we'll get another big piece. Hold the shift key, scroll down there, hit the Z key to spin it. And what we'll do if we want to, if we want like a smaller little balcony where we can still theme some stuff underneath it, let's exit out of this, you know, like we usually do. And then we're free to put this a little farther back. So we'll set this like, 
we'll set this like right there. And then of course you're gonna want your little um you're gonna want a little floor on it. So what I'll typically do is I'll go into um your wall decorations. There's there's a bunch of different little options. Like say we want to just do this little floor piece right there, or maybe we want um some like a little like a little trim piece. Um you can use those. What else can we use? Um let's see the painted plank. Those are a little small. Maybe we'll just do this. Hit the X key. Click it. And then see, we can kind of overlap it a little bit. And we're still, everything's still completely square. Then um, if you click on all here and you can, um, maybe we can just do the little panel trunks as a little fencing, hit the X key. Bring that up, bring that over, hit the X key again, and we can spin that on its axis. Bring that over. And remember, like I said, your, your total, your whole thought process on this is, um, is your shift X and uh, your Z key. So what we'll do is we will get us a little door for upstairs. So they can come, like, you know, the little guy can come out on this balcony. So we got that part going. Now what we'll do, the African windows here, really, really nice piece. Maybe we'll just stick us a little window right here, like that's his little office above his, uh, above his chief beef. <laughs> Click that there. And, you know, when you're, when you're, like, flying around here, you can see a lot of cool little pieces like, like just the decorative little claw here. Like what if you wanted to add that to the shop? Put that on there, hit X, drag it over, put its little second piece on there. There you go. Now you've got that. That gives you a lot. I mean, that right there alone is a ton of character. Maybe here on your little end piece, you've got this, uh, you've got a little sign out here. You can spin that and bring that out far enough. And you can click it. Chief Beef. Like if any of you were asking me like where the lettering and stuff comes from. As a matter of fact, I like it better when it is, um, when, it's all, when it's all caps. So that looks a little better. There's some of your signage you can use, like getting people walking down the path. Or you can just totally spin it to the front of the path. There we go. And now if you want to get, um, you know, I know one thing that a lot of you guys ask me about that I hate dealing with are the roof pieces. And what you can do if that, if that really makes you anxious and you don't like the way your roof pieces look, just go flat. So flat, uh, maybe just pick out, um, I don't know, maybe this metal clad right here. Hold down your shift key, bring it all the way up and pop it in and now like i said if, if you don't want to go too fancy or the roof pieces are intimidating to you there you go but the good thing about planet zoo is they give you a lot of pre-built options that are really really cool that look really cool um other than like i don't even think planet coaster had as many cool options as they have um you can go right down here to your thatch roof dormer large spin it bring it up Maybe you could even go like that. And if you hit the X key, you can try out different sizes. So see, we can even exit out of that building. Maybe we want, maybe we want our little chief beef to have a thatched roof. And see, the roof is covered. I'll do that. And remember, you've got your little offshoot down here. So we may, eh, you may want to give a roof on this piece as well so maybe we could just do something like this so see it's got its little offshoot that still covers the top of the porch and now with that we may want to go ahead and do a smaller let's go we'll go into our all tab and let's just um, I'm not sure what the actual piece is called but I use it 
if, pretty frequently. Yeah, you're um, basically your unpainted timber. So maybe what we could do is hide this in there. So I'm hitting the X key. Then maybe bring that down and just hide it with the roof. So we've got the support there. I'm st I'm still I'm still have the X key on. And maybe we'll do another little support up against the building right there. So see now they've got their little He's got his little patio. He can come out and kind of look at the crowds go by. Um, probably I wouldn't suggest leaving that blank. So what we'll do is we'll go back into our, let's look at the wall props real quick. Your wall decorations is what it's called. Um, we'll go, let's just start up here at the top where the African pieces are. Maybe we'll grab this little decorative mask here. Place it on here. And all of it is still aligned to surface. So we've got that part. Let's see what other kind of cool pieces they have here. We might be able to sneak on here. Um, they've got these def decorative bamboo pieces. Can definitely look really cool. Maybe sink that into the ground a little bit. Hit the X key. Bring that over. Line that part up. There we go. And then typically what I do when I'm trying to, you know, just trying to come up with some different little ideas, I seriously just scroll until I see something. Maybe take some of this Indian fabric here. Let's see if we can get it lined up with the wall here. Yep, hit the X key. Maybe bring it up and have some little flags going through the top of his um, canopy there. Hit the X key. It's in place. And, you know, we don't like totally have to go, you know, massively overboard with it. This is a, this is a pretty good little style. So I think we can, uh, we can run with that. The only thing I'd suggest is maybe if we wanted to get a little fancy with it, maybe, um, maybe cover this little board right here a little with the, uh, with the corrugated, corrugated metal. Kind of like re meeting the top of the bamboo. And, um... We even have this little, let's see, got, we've got all kinds of little trim pieces here um, you can use. Like maybe see we want to like hide this little crack here. Just bring that up and hide it. So there's that. And let's just look, um, let's see, we can just look just here just a minute. That part this down here looks kind of looks a little off because it's it's block and doesn't really match anything down there so what we may be able to do let's just take a look around maybe use one of these decorative strips hit the Z key X key and bring that up try not to hide the thatch if you can just be very very easy with your mouse movement right there get rid of some of this tall grass here now what we'll do is we'll go into our props real quick. Construction tab, props, and let's see some little neat stuff we can kind of lay out here to make it look, you know, just make everything look a little more interesting. Um, we can go back to our African base hut. Maybe we can set it. Let's just get it maybe right there. Um, you've got your drums. Let's see, we've got some African pots. Maybe we'll take the aligned surface off right there. Maybe we'll use that one. That's a pretty good size one. And that's a decent one. Let's see what else we can use here. Oh, these little East Asian baskets. They're really cool for kind of cluttering up a little spot. Um, you've, got your, uh, you've got your bicycle, these fabrics. Really, really cool. We'll set a roll of those right there. And I think that is a, that would be a pretty cool little spot. Maybe we can do a, where's our Jeep at? Maybe we can do like a red, um, we, we can do a red Chief Beef Jeep. Um, if you want to change the colors on the Jeep, remember down here, click on that, and then just pick whatever color, you know, whatever color you want to go with. Maybe we'll set, set that guy right there. So that's the guy, that's the, that's the owner's little, truck and let's see what do we what can we do here to maybe really just kind of finish this off 
maybe going up this line right here, we've got these logs. Let's go back to align to surface. And maybe we can do some, maybe something like this. As long as it's, you know, still hid behind the door. There we go. Just anything to kind of just offer just any kind of little, you know, just a little accentuation, you know, you can come up with. Let's lower that just a little bit. And the last thing, let's see here. Flags, eh, not really, don't really need that. Centerpieces, don't want to get too many statues in here. Hmm, let's see. Awnings. I, I'm pretty satisfied with the awning work there. Maybe let's just, maybe the last thing, let's just see what the chief beefs look like. So you could even put that right there. I know it kind of detracts a little bit from the build, but you could do that. You could um, write it again in up there. Uh, maybe down here in front of the Jeep, in front of the Jeep, get you a little sign swing. Maybe we'll set that right there. And, you know, we did this without any greenery either from any of the, you know, the foliage or anything. If you want to close that part off, like if that aggravates you, remember, shift, shift, shift. Just bring it down. Break that part up a little bit. And there we go. There is your little chief beef. And how long did we spend on this in real time? 20 minutes. So not too bad. There's your little 20 minute chief beef. And, you know, I was kind of like talking and trying to show you guys stuff, you know, for a pretty good bit of stuff in this. So normally you wouldn't be sitting here listening. You would just be building. This might take you 10, 15 minutes maybe. So anyways, yeah, I'm S. Dan Wolf, guys. Don't forget to leave me any questions you have down below or any part of this you might not have understood or you weren't able to catch. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of these vids, and I'll try to put some more little buildings together for you. We'll go ahead and we'll get this on the workshop. So if you want to look at this in more detail, uh, you can go check that out. And if you guys like these little tutorials, let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll try to get in, and uh, maybe we'll go a little more in depth and start doing some curves on some of your buildings and your facade. So we kind of kept this little nice, neat, and straight, you know, just to kind of get you through the end of this. And, uh, you know, for some of you beginners, but, uh, yeah, fun little build. So, uh, anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. See ya.